Apparently the corp figured it wasn't safe in Japanese waters. Afraid some local fishermen might harpoon it for scientific research. But honestly, it's quite the power. But you are not the Hmm? How's it going? Hey, how well you know Bug exactly? Now Mamita got a soft spot for me. <laughs> no, but seriously, she ain't the type you go out and grab hey, your way. Listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. I don't actually think what she got you? any soft spots anywhere. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. Right. There are people who say cyberpsychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. Shit. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's Come out. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? Come on out! Nobody's gonna hurt you! It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. Listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah? Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. No, no problem. Just a death sentence. NC's Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Mr. B? High risk, high reward first rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow cause we gonna do this clean and on the hush hush. We understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second to rendezvous. Simple. 
client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Klein, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> Anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, we'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shot. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. See, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and game mate one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now. And I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy, what's he like? A straight psychopath, chrome loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that. Except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes goulash. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you.
One more thing, Mr. B. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Back to our chat. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a dog, yeah. Clem to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clapped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. What's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Stick around. It's the low way go. So, looks like we found the last honest cop in this city. Her name's Anna Hamill, and whatever she's investigating, it's made her a lot of enemies. She'd do best to cut it out if you catch my drift. Okay, look, I know how it sounds, but somebody would have taken this gig anyway, right? I don't know. Maybe there's an angle you can play here. Either way, info's attached.
Ah, there you are. Let me hear what you squared away. Been waiting long? My madre always said patience pays off, so... T-Book show any sign of life? You two talk? She's up to date, fired up to work with Dex. Baron already. They're familiar, you know? Worked together before Dex took his break. So Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? That shit can go smoothly. This is Maelstrom. Gang world ain't too complicated. Might's right, the strong survive. Either you fuck others, or you get fucked. So, into the Borg Beast Den. Give me a minute. Okay, tell me when you're good and steeled. Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I hate these Borg fuckers. Just had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I'll take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. Go on, let them know we're here. Talk to Royce. Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Ah, cozy place. I could use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in the Chow factory. Yeah, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. You hear about their boss, Royce? Dex mentioned him. <laughs> Called him special. Well, just me and us, Holmes. Shit. They expecting a home. Anti-personnel mine. Directional shrapnel spitter. My favorite.
Here to see Royce. We got biz to transact. Mr. Royce is busy just now. You'll deal with me. You got a bot. Model MT0D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid brick for. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch, planet. you blowing? Dorse and adrenaline to the point you feel no pain. Trip so intense it verges on psychosis. Corps fed it to their fighting legions during the Corp Wars. Cyber psychos pop the tabs like candy. Vaporizing and mellows the burn without killing any of the effect. Come on! Give it a whirl! not gonna come looking for it. Fuck them. They can hop around and try. We'll remove the serial number and lift an access locks using our soft. Once it's yours, it's yours. Need to see it. Watch this! Fully 
way integrated lake too, so when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm -hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Yep, we'll take it. Got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Asked you a question. Expect me to pay for this thing twice. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? You'll pay twice because I say you'll pay twice. Alright, you want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Eddie's for it. What to offer us a discount? Big one. A discount? Fuck. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half of Pacifica? I mean, he ain't dead. <laughs> no, he's alive, well, and kicking. He sends his regards. So you're gonna consider my offer now? Production line. Plus, I thought you loved me. Really, no other way.
Ladies and gentlemen, Jackie Wells.
you. Go, go, go!
No begging, no debt, no corporal strings attached. And the flathead's ours. <laughs> That's the way to do biz, V. Tough to argue. Yeah, because I'm right. Always. Nice of you to notice. this town. A city of endless opportunity and brotherly hate. But if you got the cojones and you know how to use them, you can do damn near anything. Unless you catch a bullet, stray or not. Even then, you go out with a bang, right? And the street will talk. The street will remember. What now, Jack? What now? Now I go back. Find Misty. Something to make me feel alive again. They could have shot us up good back there. No two ways about it. Catch a fright back there. That you wouldn't make it back. <laughs> Shit like that don't cross my mind. But I am grateful for coming through. Don't forget to let Dex know we got his toy for him. Ahí luego. Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on. How'd you get him on board? You used the corpo woman? Did it without Melitech holding my hand. Didn't want to risk it. So how'd you get that cat Royce to hand over the flathead? Don't Only way I know that always works. Brute force. Don't you got some balls, Mr. B. Don't what about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. Mm -hmm. That meat's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Park will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck. 